All right, here's problem 46 off the math subject GRE practice test. Uh, what's going on here is I have a related rates problem. So as long as you understand how to do related rates problems, this problem is kind of straightforward. 45 and 46 aren't too bad um, relative to some of the others this late in the test. So what's going on is you have a ladder that's leaning against a vertical wall on level ground. In other words, it's kind of a red flag. You're thinking Pythagorean theorem. There's the ground. There's my vertical wall. And I have this ladder. There's a beautiful ladder right there. And note that that creates a triangle. Okay, and I can relate together the lengths of a triangle using a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So maybe I'll even go ahead and label that a, b, and c. And so what I want to do is read through this problem and figure out what it's asking me for. A ladder is 9 meters in length. So what that tells me is that this is 9 right here. You can leave this as a c throughout the problem if you want. Um, but just recognize that c prime would be equal to 0, right? The rate of change of c is always 0 because the length of the ladder is never changing. Uh, I prefer to just call the constants, put those in as the values that they're equal to. But be careful, you can't plug in values for A and B. When you read through this and you're like, wait a minute, the top end slides downward. Uh, how fast, blah, blah, blah. At the moment, the top end is three meters above the ground. It looks like they're telling me B equals three. Can I just make this a three also? No. Don't make this a three right here because A and B are changing as the problem goes along. C is not. The latter is always the same length. What's going on is it's leaning up against a wall and some funny guy is pulling out this end right here, which is making you at the top of the ladder fall down here. And so the length from the top of the ladder to the ground is changing as this jerk takes the end of the ladder and pulls it out this way. This length is changing and this length is changing. So really what you want to do is find a way to relate together the rate of change of A and B. Come up with an equation that has maybe an A prime and a B prime in it. And the way you do that is you come up with an equation that just has an a and a b in it and then take the derivative of both sides of the equation. And what equation am I speaking of? Well, Pythagorean theorem tells me that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, um, c in this case being equal to 9. So I have this equation. And if I take the derivative of both sides of this equation, you probably have seen this before, maybe with slightly different notation, kind of lazy on my notation. I like to write it this way. The derivative of a squared I write as 2a a prime. So this is chain rule. The outside function is the stuff being squared. So I have stuff squared. Take care of the squared part. Bring the 2 down in front. It's 2a to the first power. But then you're not done. You still have to multiply by the derivative of a, which I'm going to write as a prime instead of like da over dt or something. Same logic here. I get 2bb prime and the derivative of 81 is just 0. What I now have is an equation that relates together a prime and b prime. When you read through the problem, the bottom end of the letter is being moved away from the wall at a constant rate of two meters per second. What that tells me is that this length a right here is increasing at a rate of two. In other words, a prime equals two. The top end slides downward along the wall. How fast will the top end of the ladder be sliding downward? That's asking me about b prime. It's not exactly b prime because b prime will be a negative number because this is getting smaller and smaller and my answer will be positive. But B prime is the negative of this answer. How fast in meters per second will the top end of the ladder be sliding downward? At the moment, the top end is three meters above the ground. So what this tells you is that B equals three. The length right here is equal to three. And you're like, okay, so B prime is what I'm trying to figure out. I could solve this equation for B prime. I could say that B prime uh, is equal to, okay, let's do it this way, two B, B prime equals negative 2a a prime. So therefore b prime is equal to negative a a prime divided by b. If I divide both sides of the equation by 2b and cancel out the twos. Uh, so if I knew what a a prime and b were, I'd be done with the problem. I do know a prime and b, but I don't know a. Well, a represents this length right here, specifically this length when b equals three. So I can solve for a over here, by saying a squared plus three squared must equal 81. So a squared must equal what, 72? So a is equal to, this is 36 times two, so I can call it six root two. Uh, so a equals six root two, now I can go plugging things in here. I got negative a six root two times a prime, which is two, divided by b, which is three, I get, I guess I could cancel these guys out and get negative two. I get negative four root two. And you're like, well, negative four root two is not an answer. True. That's saying that B, this length right here, is changing at a rate of negative four root two. It's getting smaller 
So the rate of change is negative. But what the question is asking you is the speed that it's moving down. Um, it's kind of asking you how fast is this getting smaller? So my answer would be four root two, which is answer C.